in this video I'll be showing you um, basically a derivation of the quadratic formula and where it comes from and why it works pretty much. Alright, so f before this video starts I hope you're familiar with um, what a quadratic is. A quadratic is basically just a parabola. Quadratics usually take the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And of course, um, a quadratic is usually a parabola, something like this, or like this, depending on what the coefficients of this equation are. Um, and of course, we have the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'm going to be showing you how they went from this is um, just the basic equation to this as a um, solution to any form no matter what the coefficients are. Alright, so when we say solution we basically want when um, we want the values of x, these x values, when y is equal to zero. So yeah pretty much to start off we go to find our roots y needs to be equal to zero. Because on a um, x-axis and a y-axis, when you cross this line here, the x-axis, y will always be zero. So, no matter what curve you have, whether it's a sine curve, um, a quadratic, or a cubic, or something, it will always be um, y equals zero on the x-axis. So, knowing this fact, we can make this equation up here a lot simpler. So we can just say ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, right? Now to get from here, you normally you, now we just want x as the subject, and you're probably thinking, oh, let's just move the c over here and factorize x over here. But you'll come to see if you try that, it won't work. So what we actually have to do is a thing called completing the square. So what we do is we're going to group our x terms here. And we're just going to leave that c there for a bit. And we're going to take out this coefficient. We're going to take out the a here. So the x squared has a coefficient of 1. So if we take out the a here, we get x squared. And if we take out the a here, because remember this a is coming out of this entire bracket here. So you have to do it over here too. So it's going to be plus b over a x. And just to check if that works, if we multiply this back in here, you'd get this, um, what's in the brackets up here at the top. So we haven't really, we haven't changed much, we've just changed how it looks. Alright, now we go complete the square. So basically we're completing the square, we need to get this um, term here, um, b over a, we need to multiply it by a half and square it. Okay? If you're familiar with completing the square, I'll be making a video on it. But yeah, this is how it's done. So it's going to be um, that's going to simplify to b squared over 4a squared, right? So I'm just going to rub this out now. And basically, completing the square is is you're basically you're adding in a term, another term to make it a perfect square without really adding anything because um, when we are oh, this is just rubbish. I'm just going to rub this out. I'm just going to put that here. So a over x squared plus b over ax. So we can add this term in here, b squared over 4a squared. But if we subtract it, we're technically not adding anything. Okay. And this is all being multiplied by a equals 0. Alright, so the reason we did that is basically this here is now a perfect square. So we can simplify this whole thing here just to be equal to, we can um, simplify it into this form. So we'll go x plus b over 2a all squared minus, four, um, minus b squared over 4a squared plus c equals 0. Now if you multiply this out, you'll get this here. So we haven't changed anything, we just changed the way it looks. All this algebra manipulation will make it much easier to make x as the subject. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just going to distribute the a. So we have a over x plus b over 2a 
all squared minus b squared over 4a so when the a came here there's a here and it cancelled it out pretty much that's what's happened there so i'm just gonna leave that there if you want to copy this down plus c equals zero all right now we're just going to move this stuff up here so we're going to go a over x plus b over 2a all squared and we're just going to move all this to the other side pretty much so we're going to be equal to b squared over 4a minus c all right now we're going to divide by our a over here so we're going to be left with x plus two um, plus b over 2a all squared equals b squared over 4a squared minus c over a now we're going to do a bit of manipulation on this side over here basically we're gonna it's like adding fractions but um we're gonna make them have a like denominator so if we just multiply the bottom of this fraction as 4a and we multiply the top as 4a technically we're timesing it by one because 4a over 4a is equal to one because it's when you divide by itself so simplifying this top simplifying the right hand side we're going to have b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared we could um so basically we just put them over one fraction pretty much all right now we're going to square root the uh, left hand side so we're going to be have x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared all right simplifying the um right hand side we're going to be left with x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a right and now we're just going to move this term here over to this side and then we'll have x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and we can see we've almost got the quadratic formula because we can add these two together because they're the same denominator so we're left with x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and that is the quadratic formula so that's how they went from basically having any graph like this so if you wanted to find its roots this formula works for all um, that have this form up here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, under today. It wasn't really a learning. Um, it wasn't a hard learning video. It's more of a derivation of where the quadratic formula comes from. Hopefully that helped with your understanding a bit. Uh, thank you so much for watching.